wish to create a new animation, we must first click Create New File. We then click Animation, and then we click on the playing surface to open the Drill Creator. In the Drill Creator, we have Objects Bar, Action Bar, and Play Bar. You notice on the Objects Bar that the first player we place upon the playing surface is going to be a forward, left-handed, red jersey, number one. And now we just simply click the playing surface we wish to place the player. If you wish to place a group of players, you select Field, and then choose the situation that you wish to animate. Let's try five on five. Now we just click a face-off dot. If we're not happy, we can move it across and click a different face-off dot. And we can always go back at least 15 times by clicking the undo button to take away actions that we've created. Now, let's go back into player section and focus on player one. We click on player one to scale it up and then we can grab the turning wheel and spin that player around so that we have the player facing the correct position. We can also click on the player and move it around until it's exactly where we want to have it to start the drill. We can also make it a defender, a goaltender, a coach, but let's leave player one as an attacker. We can make it a left-handed or right-handed shot, and we have a choice of colors. We can also choose numbers or letters. We click the right arrow to scale up the numbers, and we click the left arrow to go down into the letters. Let's place the letter F on it for forward. Now we click the playing surface to fix those changes. Now let's add a defender that's right-handed with a white jersey. And we'll label that player with a D for defender. Now let's add a coach. And we'll make the coach a left-hander. We click the playing surface to place the coach. Then we click on the coach to scale him up. And then we'll just pull that wheel down a little bit to have the coach in a perfect passing position. Now, let's add pucks. We can add one puck or many pucks. We suggest that you place a puck on the playing surface and then click on it to scale it up and then draw it into the player or the coach and then click the playing surface to fix it in place. And let's put a pile of pucks beside the coach. Now let's put an extra goal. We'll change normal or tiny goals. Let's put a normal goal right down here. Now we click on the goal scale it up and then we can take the spinning wheel and move it around to the position we want and then move it into position. And we can also do the same thing with the default goals that are on the playing surface when we started. The tiny nets are very useful for youth drills and also small area games and they have the same qualities as the larger goals. And like all objects, anytime that you wish to eliminate an object on the ice, you just click on it and then click on the decks to delete it. Now let's go into other. These are other coaching aids that we can place on the ice. We have cones or pylons. We have sticks. And when you click on the stick to scale it up, you can spin it around and then place it in the position that you wish to have it. You can also use sticks to place on top of the little small card tires to create another type of stick handling object on the ice. We have rink dividers, which are very useful for creating separation from different areas on the playing surface. And you can also use those as rebounding pads as well in drills. And we have large tires. And we have smaller cart tires. Now let's look at shapes. In shapes, we have arrows, rectangles, circles, and text box. For the arrows, you can have them pointed on either side, one side, or have no points at all just to draw a straight line. Let's create an arrow with one point on it and we'll make it a red arrow. You click on the playing surface we want the arrow to start and then draw it down and release it when you're happy with the end point of the arrow. Let's do it on the other side as well. Now, you can move the arrow around by clicking on the hand and moving it around until you have it in the position that you want and then releasing it and clicking the playing surface to fix it into position. Now, let's add a blue box. We click on the hand to scale it up and now we can move it around into position and we can also change the shape by clicking on the little square black boxes in the corner and then drawing it out to the shape that we want. Let's create a triangle. And we can have it with fill or no fill. 
and you can delete it again by clicking on the X. Now let's create a red circle. Click on the playing surface and draw it out to the size that you want to have it and then click on the hand to edit it. You can also click on the little black squares here to adjust the shape of your circle. Lastly, we have the text box and we can choose the size of the text and the color of the text. Let's use black text and let's type in our message. Pass, left, or right. And then we click the playing surface to place our message where we want it. We can also click on the hand to move it around until we're happy with the placement of the message. Now, let's go into play mode into 3D to see what our objects look like. If we wish to continue adding objects, we go into objects bar. But when we're ready to start drawing, we go into action bar. And the first thing that we're going to adjust is the text message. When we click on the hand on the text message, the timeline opens down below and we want that text message to pop in at 0.5 seconds and then pop out at 3 seconds. So we slide that first timing dot 0.5 seconds and the second timing dot to 3 seconds. And we want the arrows to pop in and pop out at the same time so we do the same thing. We click on the hand on the arrow, we move the first timing dot to 0.5 seconds and the second one to 3 seconds and then we do the same with the other arrow. 0.5 seconds it pops in and then at 3 seconds it will disappear. Now let's work on the coach. We click on the coach and we want the coach to pick up that puck at 5 seconds into the drill. So we slide that first timing dot on the timeline across 5 seconds. And now we can take the puck and we click pass and pass to the defender. And then we'll have the defender start skating to start the drill. Let's take a look at our drill in play mode in 3D. The text box and the arrows pop in at half a second. They pop back out at three seconds. The coach takes the puck at five seconds, passes the defender, and the defender starts skating. 